We are getting the first look at just how much Texas students fell behind in school during the pandemic. We've known about the COVID slide for a while now, but today we get the official report from the Texas Education Agency to see how much learning was impacted. KXN's Maggie Glenn joins us now with more. Maggie. Yeah, well, Daniel, I will say that the data we got today is pretty on par with what state leaders expected. Taking a look at this graph, this is part of the data that was shown to the State Board of Education today. It shows scores in math and reading down significantly since before COVID hit. The metrics show the percentage of students meeting star grade level standards. The blue bar is the last pre-pandemic school year and the orange is last school year when learning was mostly in person. The biggest decrease here, math scores for eighth graders fell by nearly 20%. So what is the state doing? TEA says the first priority is to address the teacher shortage. The Texas Education Agency is working to improve teacher retention, something Houston ISD teacher Coretta Mallet Fontenot says her district is struggling with. One of the things that I find challenging um, is the, the exodus of, of younger teachers. TEA Commissioner Mike Morath says those younger teachers, novice teachers, make up the majority of educators statewide. The average new teacher is less effective than the average, um, say, six-year teacher. And it's impacting some students more than others. Low-income students and students of color are much more likely to um, uh, have a novice teacher, first year or uh, otherwise beginning career teacher. This churn that we see at the beginning of the profession, not only does it um, uh, cause significant challenges to districts in terms of who they have to recruit and hire, it causes significant challenges for students um, in terms of their academic growth. Coretta says the state needs to start with increasing pay, especially in low income areas. I'm hearing my colleagues leave uh, the district every day going to surrounding districts because they're being paid $10,000 more. The Association of Texas Professional Educators agrees and says the state can also do more to prepare student teachers for hardships they might encounter. If we can increase the rigor uh, of high quality, educator preparation programs, uh, then I think we're going to leave teachers better prepared when they get to the classroom. Teacher retention and recruitment is just phase one. The state's others, other priorities include building a foundation for reading and math and connecting high schoolers to careers in colleges. Britt.